Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys another little HT Access trick. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to hide the extensions uh, for your web pages. Now, some websites, if you go to them, like for instance, if I navigate to my website, nickfrothy.com here, I can type in index.php, because that's the extension for my website. Uh, I use PHP files, and the extension is the .php. That's the extension for a file. Now, if you look at my links, and you can't really see this, um, but my links in the bottom corner, uh, it doesn't, down here, it doesn't give the, uh, the PHP extension. So if I click on this, you can see it takes us to uh, text tutorials, and there's no PHP extension. Good video tutorials, no PHP, PHP extension, and downloads, there's no PHP extension. It's, but if I put in the extension manually, you can see it will go in, and it'll still give us the exact same page. Um, so it's just a very very handy. Um, it's fairly simple. It's only a couple lines of code. So uh, in your HT access file, you just want to put in these three lines of code. Uh, now this is the code from the other HT access uh, tutorial I I just made. Um, so that's already there. And you must have the the two lines of code right there: the uh, follow sim links and the rewrite engine of on. Uh, but these three lines of code right here are the code uh, to make it so the PHP extension is not uh, shown. So it doesn't have to be there, but it can. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so it's really, really handy. Uh, you can click on, uh, right now I think it's any link on my website. You can click on news, take it to the news, uh, and it's not giving the extension. Um, so it's very, very handy. The code is right there. Um, the code will be in the description um, if you want it. Um, now, uh, people have asked this before, that uh, can you do this with, with HTML files? And I believe the answer is yes. Um, so where it says PHP here, you just change it to HTML. Uh, but the problem with that is, is all of, your web, all of your pages on your website that you want to actually do this with, they must be all the same extension. So they must be all PHP or all HTM, HTML, whatever they are, they have to all be the same or else you're going to get problems and it's going to say that um, that the file you're looking for is not there. So, yeah. Also, something else I want to point out is that on your website, if you have, um, if you have a folder, say, uh, let me go back to my website, if I click on downloads, you can see it goes to downloads and normally that would be like the format for a, uh, a folder, um, but we're using PHP to make it so, um, or we're using HT Access to make it so we don't have to have the PHP extension. But if you had a folder called Downloads on your website and a page called Downloads, um, it's just going to take you to the folder. It's not going to go to the page. So make sure your pages have different names than your folders on your website on your website or else you will get problems and you will have problems uh, so yeah that's how to uh, get rid or, or hide I guess of hide the PHP extension on your website